Arg. There be gold. King's gold with these pirates on the cover. In this middle tin. Unboxing King's gold. Arg. King's gold. So we have this nice little metal tin that hasn't even been opened yet. Normally I probably wouldn't pay this much for a metal tin game. But... It was still in plastic, so it's brand new. You get the shiny stuff. Shiny! <laughs> shiny. So pretty. Let's see, what's it say on the back? It says on the back King's Gold. Parent set sail for plunder. The objective of the. <clears throat> Arg ye mateys, set sail for plunder, ye parents. Our objective is to, of King's Gold is to come the richest pine in the Caribbean islands by rolling dice and stealing treasures. Each turn you will roll the five pine dice up to three times. Then based on the combinations of the dice, you roll. You can choose to steal the gold from the local merchants or the pines or even the pine king himself. Choose your dice wisely. Steal your gold shrewd and become the richest pirate at the seas, at the high seas. Buy blue, orange, hot games, cool planet games. Contents are the rules. Ye rule book, six stick golden coin tokens and five parent days erg let's check it out erg she meets here is this is not ye rule book this is how the combinations of the dice work you got the cannon and the gold coin take that many coins from the box then pay the king Erg. Skull and coin. Take that many coins from the pair of your choice. All of coins. Take all of the coins from the king's gold. All skulls. Take all the coins from a player of your choice. All cannons. Take all the coins from the box and in the game. Three crossbones or no combo. Add three of your coins to the king's gold as a penalty. Then we had the rules. Or the rules. Ajimedes. The rules. Introduction. Introducing you to this game. The Caribbean Islands were once a lawless cove run by merchant marines transporting stolen treasures. When news reached the uh, king that these pirates were amassing great fortunes riches he ordered a cut of the loot now it is their turn to be a pirate and you must try to pillage ships and other pirates along the way how far will you go to deceive the greater king and become the richest pirate on the coast and the high seas the goal of the game is to earn the most coins these are these be the coins plastic golden coins Set up. Place all the coins in the game box. All the coins stay in the game box. And position them in the center of the table within reach of all the pirate players. Familiarize yourself with the combinations of the dice, which are in this set of rules, set of instructions right here. You will try to achieve during the game to earn a coins. Scribe below and on the reference card. Ye reference card. Right there. Playing the games. On your turns, roll the five apparent dice. These are the five apparent dice. Up to three times. 
to achieve combinations described below. Also own the reference card. Ye reference card. Each time you roll the die, you can choose to keep a re-roll in one, all, or none of the pirate dice. Depending on the combinations you are trying to achieve, you can roll up to three times. However, if you any of the dice land on the crossbones, bones, those dice with crossbones bones are struck for the rest of that be a cross of bones right there. Struck from the rest of your turn and cannot be re-rolled. So you're not allowed to re-roll the cross of bones. When you have finished rolling, group your dice by the combinations you achieved and apply the results. See below or on the ye reference card. Ye old die reference card. Then it's the next player's turn to roll the five dice, five dice, up to three times. The combinations of the dice are a pair of, of one coin dice and one cannon dice. Cannon and coin, not cannon and coins. They have two coins and three coins and probably possibly one coins. When you get this combination, you take from the game box as many coins as indicated on the coin die. Then take on the coin die. Uh, then take an equal amount of coins from the game box and add them to the king's gold. Separate parent pal next to the game box. There aren't enough coins left in the box to fulfill these two transactions and take what's left and share it evenly with the king if there is an odd amount remaining give the extra coin to the king uh. now if you get a pair of coins dies and a skull dies you get to steal from the player of your choice as many coins as indicated on the coin dies that would be the skull Urk. If all the dice are cone dice, steal all the king's gold. Take all the coins from the king's gold, pile next to the game box, and add them all to your own pile. The numbers of the coin dice don't matter. The only thing that matters is that they are all coins. So if all coins, you steal the king's gold. Erg. If they're all the skulls, you steal all the coins from the player of your choice. So if they're all coins, you get the king's gold. If they all skulls, you get the player's gold. If they all cannons, they all cannons, steal all the coins remaining in the game box and don't share with the king and the game ends immediately if you get all the coins. Penalty. If you get three, tree, or mo crossbones during your turn, or if you fail to roll any of the previous scoring combinations, you must take three coins, tree coins, from your pals and add them to the king's gold. Ark. If you don't have enough, give the king all these coins. Don't have three, he gets them all. Do you have two or one or zero? Mm -hmm. That mean king taxing ye parents. Notes. There be notes. Ye must always fulfill the results of your dice. Ye cannot use the same dice in more than one combination. If you have two pairs of one coin die and one skull die, you can use them to attack the same player or two different players. If you have two pairs of one coin die and one cannon die, you must take from the game box twice and pay the king twice. If you have... Both a pair of one coin die and one skull die, and a pair of one coin die and one cannon die, you must apply both effects. End of the game. Arg, you mateys, you done played the game, read the rules, rolled the dice, and ended the game and ran out of coins. Now what you do? The game and beating ends when there are no more coins in the game box. The player with the most of coins wins. In case of a tie, play another round to determine a winner. And that is King's Gold. You made it. So basically what you do is you roll the dice to three times. And then you try to make the combos so you can get the gold in your stash. 
Sorry, ye mateys, that's King's Gold. Remember, ye mateys, that God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Can keep on the gamings. Check out the King Dice. So there's a combo. That would be take all the king's gold. Now if you had all skulls, you'd take all the player's gold. If you had all cannons, you'd take all the gold in the box. And the game ends, you count your golds. If you had uh, cross the bones, three or more, you gotta pay three gold to the kings. If you have... And that's how you play the king's gold. Are you mates? Are y'all ready to roll them and try to get some gold? Well, remember, God is good. All the times and all the times, God is good. Keep the gaming, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And have a great day with Jesus as Lord, and Jesus is God, and Jesus is King, and Jesus is ruler of everything. RG mateys. And if you save one day, you'll be walking on the king of kings, golden streets. Have a great day, mates. Arg.